Darren Johnston. Um, the pack and send is a pack and send business. We pick a lot of things from eBay, a lot of things that people have trouble sending, fragile, awkward, valuable things. Lots of antiques, which there's lots of in Toowoomba. Um, yeah, sending people's valuables around the country, around the world. Yeah. Uh, we, we, we were down in Brisbane in the morning and drove up and it was heavy rain. Um, we noticed the across the road was just about full and it just kept raining and raining. And I, I grew up in the tropics and it was like tropical rain for, you know, just didn't stop, just kept going and going. Um, and it was probably um, amusing up to the point where it was the front door and we don't know what's going on around us. We're actually making paper boats and floating them down the stream, which was in retrospect was probably inappropriate but um uh and then it was getting into the doors and we lifted everything up and then obviously it kept coming and coming and coming and um, there was a point where um it actually broke the front doors in and then all swirled around and went up by about a meter really quickly um i had my son with me um he was 13. it was a bit he was pretty frightened as you'd imagine and um so we ended up up on the, the benches at the back. And it's still rising, we couldn't get out the front or the back. We're kind of stuck in here. And as much as you don't think it can get deeper, it just kept getting deeper and deeper. But um, at the point we were about to try and get out through the roof, um, it stopped and then started to recede. So um, definitely frightening, but for a brief period and still nothing compared to what other people went through. That's for sure. Yeah. There's some photos I gave you. It's, boiling brown water, swirling everything around and because it came in at once, so because it broke through the doors and all poured in, it was, um, it was quite dramatic. I actually took photos from, from there um, and it got sent around from a lot of people's comment was, well, what were you doing taking photos? You know, <laughs> should have been running, but yeah. That's what you do, take photos. We'd been watching with interest and, you know, standing out the front and, you know, watching what was happening and watching cars and things like that. Um, and we were holding the door and we had it all, you know, towels underneath it and um, it built up to probably about that far up the glass window and we realised that standing in front of the glass window was probably not a good idea. So we came back and then it rose fairly quickly and then broke the doors in and the water was swirling and picked all the bits and pieces up that we thought we'd had high enough off the ground and yeah, it rose very quickly and we were ended up up on here and then we were looking and watched the water level had started to drop. And that's when we probably breathed a bit of a sigh of relief. And it dropped really quickly after that, which was good. But then we went outside and saw um, and found out about all the tragedies that had happened so close. That was probably the worst part of watching the news that night. Yeah. Mm -hmm. the people there in the afternoon walking past, you know, offering to help. Um, uh, the people in the shops next door were just wonderful. Um, and we all shared resources and helped each other and and there were people from everywhere just just look I can't get to work I'm going to come down and see if I can help you out um, which was just really heartwarming actually really heartwarming um, you don't often get those circumstances that bring out the best in people and it was it was it certainly showed Toowoomba as a great community so it was great we managed to open again in probably about two weeks but the, 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 there wasn't any carpet and stuff like that. So um, we were lucky that we had really good insurance. Um, probably the benefit of being in a franchise system that organised it. Because if I was doing it, it probably would have been not the right insurance. But it was definitely so we were lucky in that point of view. Um, and we were able to then help other people fairly quickly to, to um, you know, help them recover as well by sending things and getting stuff for them and whatever. That was, that was good. Um, but really till we were back up to what we were beforehand, probably six to eight months, you'd have to say. Um, but, you know, sort of operating so it wasn't affecting us within three or four. Yeah. About that deep it was, at the deepest point.